If you were told yesterday to go do MBSC and that was all the direction that you got, well, you came to the right place. I'm David, and welcome to Model Based Experience. So, what's Model Based Assessment Engineering or MBSC? Well, the cool part is that about 80% of it, I would say, is regular systems engineering. So, you know, the whole B thing with the con ops and the design verification and the requirements, all of that is still the same. Now, the rest of it, that's a different part. So with traditional systems engineering, everything's very document based, right? So you might have requirements and doors or some kind of database, which is awesome because at that point you're one step there. Now the rest of it, your con ops, your verification plans, all the other system engineering related products are all probably very document based, based on Microsoft products. They're probably on Shabatsky's desktop or located on Martinez's My Documents or somewhere of the sort. And trying to get the entire picture of your full system is going to make you look like Harry Matheson. So what's this model base part? So the model is really just a relational database, right? So you have your requirements that you're linking to your behaviors, that you're linking to the physical portions of your system, that you're linking to parametrics. That is what this database is going to contain. It's going to be able to draw all these different relationships which is the same thing that you're doing with all those 20,000 documents and without having to play Batman and figure out what the connections are, the database is going to give you those relationships. It's going to give you that output that you want without all that additional effort. So how do we implement this model that we were just talking about? Well, the first thing is likely that the most popular way that you're going to do it is using SysML, right? Systems Modeling Language, which is they standardize shapes and lines. My job is all about drawing shapes on the computer. Which is what SysML really is. And that's something that we can get into later. Now, what uses SysML is that you can use a third-party piece of software, something like a Cameo or something like Ra IBM Rhapsody. Those aren't the only solutions, but they're the most, probably most popular ones out there right now. So what would you say you do with the model? Well, you can model the behaviors of your system. You can model the allocation of the behaviors of your system, the inputs to your different functions, the outputs of your functions, where are you going to allocate your requirements, what are the states of your functions. You can do everything that your contract requires you to do from the systems engineering group, everything that you can do that your customer requires you from the systems engineering group. You're just going to be able to do it in one location without the need of 80 different documents in one place to get that information and also to be able to pass that information to the next team without, again, having to hand them 80 different documents. So that's MBSC. MBSC is still system engineering. Nothing changes there. You just happen to be doing it using a different tool. You're going to use a model, a SysML model, by the way, to produce all your system engineering products. And you have to remember that you are doing this instead of doing all your normal paper products. You're doing all your systems engineering work within the model so that you can get rid of all that paper. You can also centralize all your systems engineering information into one model so that you can then give it to your design team, so that you can give it to your customer, whoever it may be. There's now one source for all your system engineering needs. And with that, welcome to the model-based engineering community, which I found has been extremely helpful toward each other. So if you did find this video helpful, please like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching.